Gas Natural Fenosa is a leading multinational group in the energy sector, pioneer in the integration of gas and electricity, and which is present in more than 25 countries. In our commitment to innovation, we offer an energy alternative to vehicle fuels, liquefied natural gas designed for heavy vehicles, which is effective, safe and respects the environment. Next, we will show you step-by-step step how to refuel in LNG service stations to ensure your safety and facilitate the use of LNG vehicles. LNG is natural gas cooled to minus 161 degrees Celsius, which, when condensed, is converted into liquid. The volume of natural gas in liquid form is 600 times less than the volume in gas form, so that its storage capacity allows for more efficient transportation. Heavy vehicles specifically indicated for LNG have to pass stringent security tests to guarantee maximum safety. When handling the vehicle, it is important to be very careful with the ignition sources since, as we shall see, the LNG vapor is flammable. Also, being a cryogenic liquid, it can cause frostbite or burns if it comes into contact with the skin. The LNG service stations are similar to the traditional stations and are self-service via automatic payment system. The dashboard is clear and intuitive. LNG refueling is performed using two hoses, the larger hose for the liquid phase and the smaller hose for the gas phase. Let's see how to carry out the refueling process. The vehicle must be parked with the tank towards the pump to avoid forcing the gas hoses. Before starting the process of refueling, it is very important to protect our bodies with items of personal protection. A protective shield to avoid contact with elements at a very low temperature. Clothing, which protects the whole body and, if possible, anti-static. Avoid shorts and short sleeves or highly flammable clothing. Protective footwear, which covers the whole foot. And cryogenic gloves to protect the hands. We connect the ground wire and then we can start connecting the hoses with total safety. This involves removing the protective caps and making sure the connection socket of the vehicle are clean and with no trace of moisture. If necessary, we use compressed air or blotting paper. First, we connect the hose for the liquid phase. With the latches in a retracted position, press while pushing the levers forward. And next, the gas phase, which fits using a bayonet system with a 90 degrees turn and leaving the tank valve open. Once everything is ready, all that remains is to press the start button. The pump will perform an automatically controlled refuel. The operation is complete when the display reads Fa Sumin. You can also stop at any time by pressing the end button. You can now remove the hoses in the reverse order that they were connected. You must first withdraw the small hose with a twist in the opposite direction to when it was connected. Secondly, you have to remove the liquid phase hose. The levers are pulled back, we press the red lever and we withdraw the hose and return it to its place. Finally, it is necessary to disconnect the ground wire from the chassis of the vehicle to complete the refueling process. A quick, easy and safe process. Remember that LNG vapor is flammable so it is forbidden to make sparks or other forms of ignition, to use a mobile phone or to smoke during handling. It is very important to carry out the whole process in a way that is safe for people and the environment. In the case of any incident, there is an emergency button and a 24-hour emergency telephone. A responsible attitude is also necessary in the service stations, so that on the road everything runs smoothly. At Gas Natural Fenosa, we only accept one way of working, with safety.